in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I created this look today. I'm not going to lie. Number one, I struggled with this look. Number two, you guys know I am the queen of trying to put colors together that don't go together. And so here we are with another look that I was sitting here blending for what feels like a lifetime. Now, I won't say it's always worth it because sometimes I do looks and just basically throw them in the trash but other times it comes out like this and it ends up being worth it so for today's eyeshadow look I actually use the P Louise worldy palette you guys this palette is so freaking bomb if you don't have it you need to get it it is so beautiful I will say P Louise packaging is bulky but I love it I'm obsessed with it I know some people hate it it does come with the mirror and then these are the shades inside I mean get into how gorgeous this palette is it is so beautiful and they blend effortlessly so I'm very excited to show you guys how I created this makeup look right here we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it before we do please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already and of course without further ado if you would like to see how I created this really colorful bold Old, glam look today then just keep on watching you guys so like I mentioned we're gonna be using the P Louise worldy palette this palette is so beautiful and yes honey that is real sand in the cover you can shift it and move it around and the sand actually moves I know super cool so this is what the palette looks like it is absolutely stunning you guys can see like I said the packaging is a little bit more bulky so I'm gonna be telling you what shades I'm using rather than showing you so the shade that I'm going in with here is called down under and I'm gonna use this as my darkest shade to go ahead and pack it in my crease and also start to create that winged out shape then over top of that I'm gonna go into the shade San Francisco which is a super deep blue by the way if you guys hear any noise in the background that's my dog he's literally sitting at my beauty room door crying to come in here but he needs to wait because we're doing this voiceover. So that's what I'm doing with that darkest blue. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Sky High on a P. Louise brush. And of course, as you guys know, the higher up I get to my brow bone, the lighter the shades get. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to take a fluffier brush and I'm going to go into the shade Worldy and also the shade Vacay. I kind of just mix the two together. One is a blue and one is like a super bright green. And then now that I have all my colors, pretty much mapped out I know exactly where everything is going then I work on the pigmentation of each shade and the blend now this is the part that takes the most time I recommend taking your time with this pack it on blend it out as many times as you need to until you're happy with your blend so once I was happy of course I went in with some micellar water on a q-tip and I basically just carved out my crease guys this is like the most satisfying part okay because you might question yourself in the beginning when you're blending because it looks like a whole hot mess but honey when you cut that crease and you see that beautiful blend that you did then you'll be like okay now I can kind of see where the look is going so at this point this is really where you want to take your time really look at your shape see if you're happy with it cut your crease a little higher whatever your heart desires and then I did go in with blank canvas just to cut my crease off camera it takes forever so I just kind of skipped over that so now let's get into the fun part let's create this liner moment so I first went in with the shade lounge which is a beautiful orange then I went back in with the the purple which is first class and then I decided to switch over my brush to go in with the shade Europe and worldy now let's get into a super fun product this is the P Louise cut crease carver your girl finally got this product you guys know I live for P Louise I adore them their artistry is where I want to be okay so let me just talk about this product for a second so people say this is like a glorified Vaseline it's definitely not it's a thousand percent completely different this is actually meant to melt down and break down eyeshadow and so you can easily remove it now this does have a learning curve to it because you guys can see it's not like my cellar water where as soon as you pass the q-tip over it's a blank space no you actually have to go in with a makeup remover wipe and actually remove the product and then you can start to see the skin but do you guys I see how clean it is and inside of this makeup wipe I actually have a spatula and I just wrapped the makeup wipe around the spatula to go ahead and remove the excess product and this is what it looks like so I basically just went back in with more blank canvas I know it's kind of tedious but 
that's really the way that you're gonna get these super crazy fun different kind of looks so it's definitely time consuming but it's always worth it I promise so now what I'm gonna do is add a piece of tape and I'm going into the shade down under again that's gonna be my darkest shade on the outer corner then I'm going into the shade San Francisco and trying to mix these two together was so difficult but we got there okay we got there next I'm going into the shade sky high then of course I'm gonna go into Europe and then in the inner part of the eye I did go into the shade lounge and then right in between the orange and the blue I of course wanted to add a little bit of green so I went into the shade Big Apple and went in Rome so tons of colors I used basically the entire left side of this eyeshadow palette for today's look um, so yeah I, I'm kind of obsessed. At first I was looking at it and I was like, eh, I don't know about this one. But you guys, I truly love it. I think it is such a beautiful look. So I went ahead and removed the tape. And now I'm just going in with whatever base is left over on this brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up. Because then I'm going to go over top of that with the shade Lounge again. Because I'm going to be connecting it to where it ends in the crease. And I feel like this just gave it, like, it kind of just bring everything together. You know, like, I kind of wanted the liner to be the opposite of what's on the lid so I kind of just like made them backwards if that makes sense so I feel like it looks really cool even though it's all the same colors they're all placed differently so I did go ahead and apply my lashes off camera so let's get into the base makeup so I'm going in with this from Charlotte Tilbury and then I was like girl you look like you're naked but you guys I ain't naked okay I'm wearing a cute little bandeau it was very very hot in my beauty room so like I said, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade number 4. And then I'm going to be using my go-to foundation cocktail at the moment. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation as well as the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. Whoa, I forgot for a second. Sorry y'all. So I'm mixing those two together and I actually like this combo because the soft matte helps so that way this makeup is going to last all day. But also the light reflecting is going to help so that way it's not too drying. If you're a dry skin girl like me and you've been having problems with the soft matte, try mixing it with a more glowy foundation because it is very, very matte. For cream bronzer, I'm going in with the Made by Mitchell Blush Bronzer in the shade Shady Business. To blend that out, I'm going in with my favorite brush for this. This is the Fenty Beauty 125 Face Brush. It is so good and it just fits in my cheekbones so well. For concealer, you guys, I have a cocktail for you for concealer. This is the One Size Concealer. I haven't used this in a hot minute, but honey, it's a great concealer, but it is a little bit drying, I will say that. But try mixing it with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. This, girl, let me just tell you right now, this combo, unbelievable. Okay, thank me later because your under eyes are about to look the smoothest, okay, it's ever looked. Especially if you pair it with my go-to powder, which is the Collab Set the Stage Powder. You can get it at Sally's. I feel like a broken record because I talk about it all the time, but it is so good. There's just something in this powder. It's magical. No matter what concealer you use it with, it just amps it up to the next level. It's so smoothing and blurring. It's bomb. So if you haven't tried it, try it. For the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder Foundation in the shade Medium 11. This powder is bomb, you guys. It is so good. And I have actually been using it a lot recently. So now I'm going to go in with the One Size Bronzer Trio in Medium. And I'm going to go ahead and warm up my skin. This bronzing trio is bomb. And also, you guys, I dropped my Fenty Beauty bronzing palette the other day. And can you believe both the highlighters? They fell out of the pan. I'm so devastated. So I don't even want to show it on camera. It looks so horrible. I'm going to have to go buy another one. But I love that bronzing palette. So I'm a little devastated. But I went in with my blush. Of course, I didn't show the blush. But I'm actually using one of the One Size Cheek Clappers. I will go ahead and leave the shade down below, of course. So let's get back into the eyes. I'm going in with the ColourPop Liner and Exit. It's the Pure White Liner. You guys know I have been doing this very often. Especially if you're like me and you get a little lazy you're kind of at the point where you just want to finish your makeup look and you don't want to go through all of your eyeliners this is such a great hack I just took the shade lounge again which is that beautiful orange and I just packed that right over top of that white liner and so your liner and your waterline matches perfectly with your eyes because it's technically one of the colors that you used so I also went in with the shade down under and packed that super tight onto my lower lash line and then to blend it out I went in with a little bit more of the shade San Francisco and sky high and then towards the inner corner I decided to add some of that vacay shade which is 
that bright green and then of course to top it all off I just went in with some bottom lash mascara you guys know it's not a Tatanisha look unless those bottom lashes are really standing out okay so I went ahead and added my mascara to my bottom lashes this specifically is the MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara it is my absolute favorite for my bottom lashes it is so good it does not smudge or transfer underneath your eyes you're welcome so for lips you guys I wanted to just leave this in because this is my struggle right now. I finished my last Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipstick in Nagi Nagi. You guys know that was my go-to. It was that and one other lipstick and your girl was good. Now, I'm using like 50,000 lipsticks trying to make the perfect combo. So I'm sorry that this is not a realistic lip combo, but let me show you what I'm wearing. I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cool Brown Lip Liner. Now I'm going in with this lipstick from Artist Couture in Boy Toy. I went in with the Il Maquillage and the Carly Bible Luna Lipstick. And I'm also going in with this Buxom Lipstick. Seriously? Why so many? I'm gonna try to take it back a little bit and find the perfect lip combo and then I will share it. But for now, I know that was a little dramatic and a little bit overboard. So now I'm gonna go in and refresh the brows. You guys know, I, I feel like I found my perfect brow routine. This right here is the Glossier Brow Flick. And this is gonna give you hair-like strokes. It is so good and it just takes my brows to the next level. I'm gonna go back in with my ABH Brow Wiz. I will never use anything else. I have been using this for years. I know there's so many affordable options out there but I find that nothing is like this pencil so I went in and refreshed my brows with that and then of course to set it in place and really get those hairs looking real snatched I'm gonna go in with the refi brow sculpt it is my favorite brow gel if you haven't tried it you need to talking about favorite products this has been my go-to highlighter this is the LYS beauty highlighter in the shade brave it is so beautiful and the way that this melts into your skin is unreal so I applied highlight and then you guys know I like to go back in with my blush just to make sure everything is nice and blended together and to set my face I'm gonna go in with the Desi skin skin mist and you guys know I like to spray my sponge and then really press the setting spray into the skin it's gonna give you such a beautiful glow and also melt all those powders into the skin so that completes today's look I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope you learned something new found some amazing products thank you guys so much for watching as always I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!